from an incredible prediction made by one of history's greatest writers to an uncanny resemblance between two men that has sparked talks of reincarnation, here are 15 scary coincidences you can't ignore. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You, hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 15. Mark Twain's Prediction If writer Mark Twain didn't predict his own death, then the coincidence is truly incredible. Halley's Comet passes the Earth once every 74 to 79 years. Mark Twain was born in 1835, two weeks after the comet had made a pass. In his 1909 autobiography, he wrote, It is coming again next year, and I expect to go out with it. He then refers to himself and the comet as two unaccountable freaks. They came in together, they must go out together. Amazingly, Mark Twain's prediction came true. He died in 1910 on the very day of the comet's appearance. Number 14. Hoover Dam During the building of the Hoover Dam, 112 people lost their lives. The first of them was George Tierney. On December 20th, 1922, Tierney fell and drowned in the Colorado while carrying out preparatory work. The last man to die in the project was Patrick Tierney, George's son, who coincidentally also died on December the 20th, 13 years after his father. Number 13. Joseph Figlock It would seem that Joseph Figlock was predestined to become the savior of a particularly unlucky baby, not once, but twice. In 1930s Detroit, Figlock was walking on the street when a baby fell from a high window right onto him. Fortunately, Figlock had broken the baby's fall and they both survived. The baby's careless mother apparently didn't learn her lesson, as about a year later, the unsupervised infant crawled out the same window and was once again falling towards the concrete. By some incredible twist of fate, Figlock was passing beneath yet again and once more cushioned the baby's potentially lethal impact. They were both unharmed. Number 12. Fallon Legacy Robert Fallon was shot in 1858 by the people he'd been playing poker with, as they claimed he cheated his way to his $600 pot. After shooting the alleged cheater, they needed another player to fill Fallon's empty seat, but other people were reluctant to play with the dead man's money. They eventually managed to find someone and staked him with the $600. The game went on and the new player turned his pot into $2,200 in winnings. When the police arrived at the scene, to investigate the shooting, they demanded that $600 from the new player's winners go to one of Fallon's next of kin. Naturally, they were shocked to find that the man was actually Fallon's son, who hadn't seen his father in more than seven years. Number 11. Tamerlane's Warning Amir Taimur, also known as Tamerlane, was a Turco-Mongol conqueror who founded the Timurid Empire in Persia and Central Asia. He believed himself to be a descendant of Genghis Khan and looked to restore the former glory of the Mongolian Empire. Soviet archaeologists found Tamerlane's tomb on June 20th, 1940, in present-day Uzbekistan. When they opened it, they discovered an inscription with the warning, Whomsoever opens my tomb will unleash an invader more terrible than I. Only three days later, Adolf Hitler launched Operation Barbarossa, the largest military operation in history against the Soviet Union. Number 10. Patient Bullet In 1893 in Honeygrove, Texas, a man called Henry Ziegland left his girlfriend who, heartbroken and distraught, later committed suicide. Seeking retribution for the woman's death, her brother tracked down Ziegland and shot him in the head. As he collapsed to the ground, the shooter thought he had avenged his sister and turned the gun on himself. However, the bullet hadn't killed Ziegland. Instead, it had only grazed his face before hitting a tree. The years passed and at one point, Ziegland decided to cut down that very same tree. To spare himself the hard work, he didn't use an axe and chose to blow it up with dynamite. The year was 1913. 
Siegland lit the fuse and the explosion sent the bullet, which had been fired 20 years before, flying through the air. It hit Siegland in the head, killing him instantly. Number 9. Brothers in Arms John Henry Parr was the first British soldier to be killed by enemy action in World War I, while George Edwin Ellison was the last. By no intentional design, the two men are both buried in Belgium's St. Symphorium Military Cemetery, with their tombstones facing each other only 20 feet apart. Number 8. Car Crash in 1895, the car manufacturing industry was still rather young, so there weren't many cars around. In fact, at that time, there were only two cars in the entire state of Ohio. Yet even though there was so much space to share, the two cars still crashed into each other. Number 7. Twin Tragedy Another mind-blowing coincidence involves two brothers who died under oddly similar circumstances. Erskine Lawrence Ebbin died in Hamilton, Bermuda, after the moped he was riding was hit by a taxi. The fatal accident took place in July 1975. About a year later, his brother Neville died after he was hit by the same driver in the same taxi while riding the same moped. Both brothers were 17 when they died. Not only did the accident take place on the same street, but the taxi was even carrying the same passenger. Oddly enough, this isn't the only report of such a coincidence. In 2002, a set of 70-year-old identical twins died in separate accidents on the same road in Finland within hours of one another. Number 6. Jack Frost and Other Stories Jack Frost and Other Stories was one of Anne Parrish's favorite books as a child. At some point during the 1920s, the American novelist was browsing Parisian drugstores alongside her husband. They found a copy of the book and Anne told her husband the fond memory she had of it. He picked up the book and opened it only to find the inscription, Anne Parrish, 209 North Weber Street, Colorado Springs. It was the same book Anne had had as a child. Number 5. Carl Jung's Story In his book The Structure and Dynamics of the Psyche, Carl Jung described a moment that left a long-lasting impression on him. It happened during a session with one of his patients. The woman was telling him about a dream she'd had in which she received a golden scarab. As this was happening, Jung heard a noise behind him which sounded like gentle tapping. Outside, knocking against the window, was a scarabid beetle, the nearest thing to a golden scarab that one finds in our latitudes, as Jung put it. He opened the window and caught the insect, a common roast chafer, as it flew in. According to Jung, He'd never experienced anything like that before, which is why the patient's dream remained unique in his memory. Number 4. Twin Life After they were separated at birth, a set of twins from Ohio grew up unaware of each other's existence. Regardless, their lives shared some puzzling similarities. Unknown to each other, both families named the boys James. In school, both James Springer and James Lewis hated spelling but loved carpentry and math. The first wives were both named Linda, and after the twins got divorced, they remarried women named Betty. Even though they didn't know anything about each other, each had a son, James Allen, the only difference being that one was written with a single L and the other with a double. Driving a Chevrolet, chain smoking, having a dog named Toy, these are all things that were true for both of them. Number three, family photo. In 1914, a German mother took a picture of her son and went to a store in Strasbourg to have the film developed. When World War I broke out in July 1914, she couldn't return to Strasbourg for the film. It's worth mentioning that back then, film plates were sold individually. In 1916, the woman wanted to photograph her newborn daughter, so she bought a film plate in Frankfurt. Here's where it gets strange. After the film was developed, the woman was shocked to find the picture of her daughter superimposed on the picture she'd taken of her son two years prior. The amazing double exposure was the result of her initial film being labeled as unused and then being sold back to her. Number 2. Richard Parker Perhaps Edgar Allan Poe's ability to write such hair-raising fiction came from a strange ability of predicting the future. 
in his 1838 book, The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket. Poe wrote about four shipwreck survivors who, after many days on the open sea, decide to kill and eat cabin boy Richard Parker. 46 years later, a yawl named Mignonet floundered with only four survivors. There are historical records attesting that the three senior members then killed and ate the cabin boy. His name was Richard Parker. Number one, Mesut Ozil, Enzo Ferrari. When looking at pictures of Mesut Ozil and Enzo Ferrari side by side, you'd be inclined to think they're of the same person. The resemblance between the soccer player and the founder of the renowned car brand is so striking that it has sparked talks online about immortality or reincarnation. Not only do the two of them look alike, but Enzo Ferrari died on August the 14th, 1988. Mesut Ozil was born only two months later, on October the 15th, 1988. Thanks for watching. Which of these coincidences do you think was the strangest? Let us know in the comments section below.